tonight, we have made history. Together, we have taken a decisive step toward bringing bold change to New Mexico. And I am deeply moved and humbled by the confidence and the trust you have placed in me. We love you, Susana. The campaign, the campaign was a spirited one, and I would like to take a moment to acknowledge Diane Dennish for her service to our great state. At the end of the day, New Mexicans chose a new direction, and I thank them. And I thank them for their trust and their courage. It, it means so much to share this with each and every one of you here in my hometown in Las Cruces. And also with those watching the television throughout our state, Thank you to each and one of them as well. I must thank my wonderful and patient husband, Chuck. Who has stood by me throughout. And of course, I wouldn't be here without him as well to make sure that we took this journey together for all New Mexicans. tonight is with me my stepson Carlo who we are so proud of as well as my father Jake my brother Jake and my sister Letty my sister-in-law Gina and my brother-in-law Larry And I want to thank my running mate, John Sanchez, who is here with his beautiful family, and we will make a fabulous team for New Mexico. Thank you all for coming tonight and standing with us. This victory tonight says something. This victory tonight says something, that someone who grew up in a working family just a few miles from the border can achieve anything. I hope that the message is sent to all those children watching tonight is the American dream is alive and well. With hard work and dedication and honesty, everything and anything is possible in the greatest state, in the greatest nation here in America. My friends, as your next governor, I will work every day to make our state stronger, safer, and more productive. But I will not be able to accomplish these goals without you. You were the driving force behind this campaign. To institute, reform, and restore integrity to state government is extremely important. And as I campaigned across this great state, everywhere I went, you were the ones telling me how desperately we needed to move New Mexico into a new direction. A new direction in our economic policy so that small businesses, the backbone of America, the backbone of New Mexico, the backbone of our economy are able to compete. A new direction so that we can get our fiscal house in order and save for the future. A new direction in the way government operates so we increase transparency and accountability, ending waste and the fraud and the abuse that exists today. My friends, 
This is a bold agenda because that's exactly what our state requires today. These are my priorities in the coming years. And by working together, we will create jobs, get our books in order, eliminate the corruption, and turn our schools around. As I said during the campaign, we must do more than just change the party in power. If we're going to set a new course in New Mexico, we must work across party lines, Republicans and Democrats, to move our state forward. We have a lot of work to do. Tonight, we have taken a significant step in turning our New Mexico around for all of us, for all people. Our top priority is creating jobs, but until New Mexico is able to put forward an economic framework that encourages growth and investment, employment will not increase. That is why I developed a jobs plan to get our state back to work. Small businesses will know they have an ally in Santa Fe under our Martinez administration. Mexico employees and employers will have no stronger advocate than the state's new chief executive. Job creation and pro-growth economic policies are built around instituting common sense budgeting principles that every single one of us today utilize in our homes. No longer will state government operate differently than any of us. We're going to get our books in order and end the shell games that have taken over the roundhouse in the last eight years. <laughs> Together we will work toward fiscal responsibility by putting in place bold solutions that will take state government once again within its means. While we are working to create a pathway for job creation and getting control over New Mexico's budget, we're going to change the culture of corruption in state government. No more will we tolerate the abuse of taxpayer dollars, wasting of state resources, and never again will we allow a fraud to be committed against the state's citizens. For far too long, the excuse has been, that's how business is done in New Mexico. Well, I'm here to say, bold change has been victorious tonight, and we're not taking no for an answer. This means a great deal to all of us. I have stood up to corruption my entire adult life. It is not the way we will do business in a Martinez administration, and it will no longer be the way to do business in New Mexico. Yeah. And as we fix our economy and end the abuse that has become our state's calling card, we can never forget the responsibility each and every one of us has to the children of New Mexico. Yeah. Quite honestly, Thinking about the children of New Mexico is what started me on this journey many, many months ago. Children are our greatest promise. We are obligated as Americans to pass on to our sons and our daughters a better, safer place, and make, we must be the ones to give it to them. See the little one up there and waving. Those are the kids that we need to make sure we make the difference for. And tonight I ask you to stand with me and renew that commitment to our children. Today our state languishes in education. We are 49th in the nation in education. That's going to change. pledge we will no longer tolerate mediocrity 
inside our classrooms, and we will turn our educational system around for our kids. Yes. In preparing to, to address the challenges our schools confront, I have called for a bold reform agenda in education. That is my commitment to each one of you. Together, the changes we make in Santa Fe will directly benefit our most prized asset, our children. Whether they reside in Alamogordo or Farmington, Clovis, Española, Carlsbad, or right here in Las Cruces. I began this campaign a year and a half ago, and it has been my privilege to travel the state and meet so many good, hard-working, honest people who only desire the best for our beloved state. The process will make me a better advocate for you. As I make Santa Fe my new home, and I will, and I will continue to live in Las Cruces as well. I will carry the advice and the appeals of each one of you who communicated this over the, last eight, uh, the past year and a half. They will guide me as I work to turn our state around. I give you my word that I will always put the interests of New Mexicans first. I will always tell you the truth, whether it benefits me or not. And I will always commit myself, heart and soul, to making our state the very best it can be. to the challenges, and I am invigorated by the confidence that you have placed in me. I ask for your prayers and your continued support. We have a lot of work to do. But without those prayers, we would have never gotten here today. And your continued support and your continued prayers will continue to give us the energy that we need to move our state forward and make it at the top of the good list and the bottom of the bad list, because that's where we belong. Thank you so much for believing in me and John and for the opportunity to serve you as your next governor and lieutenant governor. I will do everything in my power as John will to never ever let you down. God bless you always and we will join together to turn New Mexico around in a very big way.